What's up everybody? So today I'm joined by my friend Kenzie. Hi. She is a radio personality here in Dallas. Now you're probably wondering why we're here on this football field and it's it's a good reason. Very. On Saturday I become a US citizen, dual citizen. Hopefully Woo! there's a test I have to take and there's 10 questions on this test and I have to pass or get six of them right. They give you 100 questions and they say out of all these 100, there'll be 10 that we're gonna ask you. Kenzie went through the 100 questions and picked out 30? Yes, we have 30 right here. Now I have to get like around 18 of them right. This is kind of like a practice run, but. If he gets any of the questions wrong, I get to take this, place it on his leg, mm. and wax his leg. Oh my god. I have like super hairy legs. You do. <laughs> so, I mean, they're not bad hairy. Yeah, they're you do. They're not bad hairy, but they're, 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 they've got some hair. So here we go, this is my U.S. citizenship test practice with Kenzie. Okay. Question number one. What is an amendment? An amendment is a change to the Constitution. Yes. Oh my god. That is correct. Number two. We elect a president for how many years? Four years. Correct. So far, name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Cherokee. There's a bunch. I didn't yeah. even know there were that many. That is, that is correct. <laughs> there's a bunch. Yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> when was the Constitution written? Oh, sh I picked this one on purpose. Uh, 1787? That is correct. Yeah! That is yeah! Correct. I thought for sure I was getting that one wrong. Yes. Okay. The idea of self government is in the words what? Uh, we the people? Yes! <gasps> Correct! Why does the flag have 13 stripes? 13 original colonies. That is correct. <laughs> if the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? Vice president. That is correct. You're doing good. Oh, this is a hard one. What is the name of the president of the United States now? Ooh, that would be Barack Obama, Kenzie. That is correct. Who is the governor of oh. your state now? <laughs> Oh, uh, Ted Cruz? Is it Ted Cruz? Oh no! No? What is it? Greg Abbott. Ah, oh, I knew it! I knew for sure those names oh, were gonna God. get me wrong. I'm kay. scared to do this. Okay, okay. Oh my God, this looks like a nasty stick of gum. Okay. One, two, two, three. Four, Greg Abbott! Oh, oh! Really, really well. Oh, look at that. Oh my God. Oh, sh Okay, I'm not forgetting Greg Abbott's name now. This is for you, Greg Abbott. Okay, let's do the next one. Okay. Greg Abbott, okay. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. Uh, World War II. That is correct. Oh, thank God. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Louisiana. Correct. Eisenhower, World War II general. Okay. One, two, three. Fuck Eisenhower. Ow. Oh. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Look at how clean that was. Oh my god. Oh, that was oh my god. That's more than that one. These are getting real deep. Who is the commander in chief of the military? Barack Obama, the president. True. What are two cabinet level positions? Secretary of Education. Yes. Speaker of the House. Please. No? Please say it's on there. No! No, it's not there. One. Oh my god. Two. Three. No! Oh, oh, Secretary of Defense. Oh my god. That hurt more than the other two. That one hurt way more than the other two. Did it two. really? It did. What is one reason colonists came to America? That would be freedom. Correct. Whew. When must all men register for the selective service? The ripe old age of 18. That is correct. Who is in charge of the executive branch? Oh my god. The president. Yes. Okay. Whew. What is the economic system in the United States? Capitalism. Well, I'm gonna give you that one because you were close enough. That oh, was thank good. God. What happened at the Constitutional Convention? The Constitution was written. 
Correct. What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? To vote? You promise to vote? No? Mm. Oh my god. Three! Loyalty! How does the hair on that one? That oh. one is thick. It's like this dry burn after it goes. Why did the colonists fight the British? Oh god. Oh, um. Independence. Independence, right? No. No! Well, three! Four! Taxation! 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 <laughs> what is the supreme law of the land? The Bill of Rights. Oh my god. Is it the Bill of Rights? I'm so sorry. You're lying. No, it's the Constitution. Ah! Guys, if you're playing along at home, be real with me. Would you have gotten that one? I studied it, and you know what? I got it, honestly. I got it right every time I studied. But the one time when wax, I'm just so scared of waxes now. But, but three. Full constitution, constitution. Oh my god. That was a good one. <laughs> Under our constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? To print money? Yes. Oh, thank God. Yes. Who is the father of our country? George Washington. Correct. What did Susan B. Anthony do? Uh, uh, she was a women's rights activist. Yes. Okay. Who was the president during World War I? This is a hard one. Oh, Woodrow Wilson. Yes. Woodrow Wilson. Yeah. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? Oh, I'm definitely not getting this. John G. Roberts? Yes! Yeah? Yes! Oh! Yes! 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 In what month do we vote for president? Um, November? Yes! This is the final question. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Roosevelt? Yes! 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 Jesus. Out of 30, you only got six wrong. Nice, okay, so that's uh, 24 of them got right. Yep. Nice, so I pass the flying colors, guys. Yep. I go for my test on Saturday. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I'll post my results on there, whether I become a citizen or if I don't. I don't know if you guys understand how big of a deal this is. It's been five years. I've had to move my whole life to Texas for this one day. So, uh, Kenzie, thanks so much for helping me with this. You're welcome. I'm uh, so sorry I hurt you. That's all right. I needed like the pain to kind of know. Motivation. Motivation to get like, ingrained in my head. So it helped a lot. Write your scores down below and tell me what you guys got. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to my videos if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.